Hello friends, myself Dr. Prasita Unnikrishna, Assistant Director, Ikno Regional Centre Kuchin. Warmly welcome each one of you to the session on Importance of Energy Conservation. The session is being held as a part of the National Energy Conservation Energy Day Conservation Day celebration, which was uh, which are being held at Ikno Regional Centre Kuchin. energy conservation. We all know that the demand of energy is increasing every year and most of the energy which is being generated is from burning coal and fossil fuels which release harmful toxins like carbon dioxide and sulfur into the atmosphere. In fact, the burning of fossil fuels is temporary as resources would eventually run out and this action would cause negative impact on the environment. Hence, dear friends, it is becoming all the more important to conserve energy in our daily life and energy conservation has been accorded great priority by the government of India. We all, may, we all know that National Energy Conservation Day is a very important day which is being observed in India on December 14th every year to celebrate the country's achievements in energy efficiency and conservation. In fact, it's an opportunity for individuals, communities, businesses, institutions and governments to reflect on their role in contributing towards energy conservation through embracing various energy efficient practices. So come, let's see what, about the historical importance of the National Energy Conservation Day. The Ministry of Power had initially initiated the National Energy Conservation Awards in the year 1991 to recognize industries for its efforts in reducing energy consumption by sustaining production. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency, that is the B, was formed under the Union Ministry of Power and has been leading the National Energy Conservation Day celebration annually on December 14 since the year 1991. Hence, December 14th is celebrated as the National Energy Conservation Day in India. The B is a constitutional body which falls under the Government of India and assists in the development and implementation of strategies and policies to reduce excessive consumption of energy. In fact, we all know that the development sectors of India are flourishing and this has led to more of energy consumption. Hence, it is expected that India's energy resource requirements would be doubled by the year 2020. As a futuristic uh, view, the B is expected to be strategizing and developing policies which would help decrease the demand for energy by advocating adoption of efficient measures for energy use. Now, what are the objectives of celebrating the National Energy Conservation Day? In fact, one of the objectives is to raise awareness about global warming and climate change by encouraging initiatives to conserve energy resources, to initiate mass awareness about the importance of energy efficiency and energy conservation. Uh, this day, one also celebrates the nation's achievements in energy efficiency and conservation. Presently, the National Energy Conservation Day holds the greatest significance as the world is facing dual challenges of climate change and energy security. So by promoting energy con conservation, one can reduce reliance on fossil fuels, mitigate climate change, and create a more sustainable future for all. So, what are we supposed to contribute uh, as a part of the National Energy Conservation Day? The first thing is, we need to switch off the lights and appliances when not in use and switch to LED. So, that is the basic uh, uh, thing uh, which we as, uh, as a citizens of India can do. That is, whenever we are at home or whenever we are at any office place, we can switch off the lights and also uh, uh, switch off the appliances which 
are not in use. Like suppose for example if you use a washing machine or a dishwasher, kindly do not start it uh, till it has a full load. Hence uh, these are small small things which go a long way in efficient energy conservation. You need to use energy efficient appliances at home and other places. Uh, for example, whenever you buy a refrigerator, we use uh, we usually uh, try to take note of how much power the uh, how much energy does the refrigerator consume and how much power is being used. So we used uh, we usually try and purchase those home appliances which are energy efficient appliances. So. Uh, we as citizens can make a conscious uh, effort to use energy efficient appliances at the, at not only at our home but at the work premises where we are working. Thirdly, uh, we need to use public transport instead of driving. So whenever uh, we are in a public place or we want to go somewhere, always advised to use the public transport instead of driving. Even if you have a need to drive, uh, it is advisable that you start using e-scooters or, uh, or electric vehicles so as to reduce pollution and uh, do efficient energy conservation. Trees play a very important role in our life. We all know that. And hence, we need to plant more trees for a cleaner and greener environment. And this would also help in growing more and more forests. Uh, and we need to have more forest space on our planet for a cleaner and greener environment. We also need to educate others about energy conservation. Like today, I'm, uh, we are making an effort through this session to educate you all about the importance of energy conservation. Similarly, each one of you can educate others about energy conservation and in its importance not only to the uh, not only to the neighborhood but even to the children studying in your schools or colleges. Uh, we can educate others about energy conservation. Hence. Uh, what is the way ahead as far as energy conservation is concerned? By taking small steps in our daily lives, we can make a big difference in conserving energy and protecting our planet. Hence, let us make, a, uh, make Energy Conservation Day a day of action and commitment to a greener and a more sustainable future for all. With these words, I conclude my session and thank you for listening to me patiently. Thank you.